Hello and welcome to yet another tutorial by Davies Media Design. My name is Michael Davies and in today's tutorial I'll be showing you how to set up the Inkscape dark theme without a plugin and how to change the size of your icons all in Inkscape 1.0. But of course before I get into that I want to direct you guys over to my website at daviesmediadesign.com. As always I have tons of GIMP and Inkscape tutorials on here as well as GIMP and Inkscape help articles, so definitely check that out. You can also support my channel and help me grow by becoming a patron on Patreon and get some awesome GIMP and Inkscape extras in return, including a brand new tutorial that I'll put up on here on how to download and install Inkscape 1.0 beta. And I will be using Inkscape 1.0 beta for this tutorial. If you're using the Inkscape 1.0 stable release version, this tutorial will still apply to you, so don't worry. But for starters, I need to open up Inkscape and because I'm using beta, I don't have a desktop icon. I'm just going to open this directly from the downloads folder. And you guys can see that when I open my Inkscape up, it has a dark theme. So to set this up, I just have to go to edit, preferences, and you may need to expand your preferences dialog box here. Sometimes it shows up small like this. So you can just click and drag the corner outward like so. And under the interface drop down, click on the first option here, which is theme. So by default, you will have the GTK theme set up to use system theme and the use dark theme checkbox here will be unchecked. So this is probably more so what your Inkscape will look like when you first open it. All you have to do is check the use dark theme option here. There's also several other GTK themes in here. So the first option is going to be the same as the system theme. The second option is high contrast. So this is not dark theme compatible. And the reason is that the next option is an inverse version of that same option. So that just gives you a black user interface. Windows 32 is also not dark theme compatible. And of course the final option, the system theme will be dark theme compatible. So if you have this checkbox checked, it will give you a dark theme. You can also change the icon types you're using. So right now this is set to the system icons. I can change this to high color, multicolor beta, Tango, or again the system icons. And when I'm using the system icons, by default it'll have these multicolor icons, but I can check the use symbolic icons option, and that'll set this up to be more like a line art style of icons. So I'll just uncheck that option for now. And below that you have the option to set up your icon sizes. So the toolbox icons are going to be over here on the left. The control bar icons are up top here and over here on the right side, the first row. And the secondary toolbar is going to be on the right side here, the second row. One thing to note when you're playing around with the icon sizes is that you have to close down Inkscape and restart it in order for those resizing changes to take effect. So I'll come over here and I'm going to set the toolbox to larger. You'll see nothing happens yet. And let's say we set the control and the secondary to large. I have to close down Inkscape and I'll just double click to reopen it. And now you can see I have really huge toolbox icons over here. I can click this menu here to expand and show the tools that aren't showing up right now. And my control and secondary icons are both a little bit larger. They're not as large as they can be, but they're larger than they come by default. Of course, I can come back and change this back to the defaults. So I'm going to change these back to small and change this back to large. And the next time I restart Inkscape, my icon sizes will be reset back to the defaults. All right, so that's it for this tutorial. Hopefully you liked it. If you did, you could subscribe to my channel and don't forget to click the bell icon and be notified every time I have a brand new tutorial. You can also check out the links to my resources in the description of the video. But thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.